whoever isn't here can watch it. Okay, so number one, scout appropriately. Okay. Actually, let's try that again. So, number one, uh, don't telegraph. Okay. No telegraphing. Don't telegraph. You guys can hide in that little stairwell that's back here and then come out. Okay. Um, you want to give them maybe like at most five seconds of warning. You guys don't need that much staging time, right? You just swap to the Lucio speed aura and you guys mosey your way up this rock and over, right? Some of you don't even need to walk, right? Um, so yeah, so that's number one, right? You guys all kind of like waved at them, stood literally in front of their spawn. Don't give them too much time to think about it. Some teams might try out some crazy shit, right? They might really think about their pathing, what they're going to do. We want to give them as little time um, as possible. Uh, number two, okay, is, um, what was I just saying? Uh, scout appropriately. Okay. And what I mean by that is, in this instance, for example, you know, let's just say that this pink box is their spawn door. You guys were all looking at this pink box, all of you, right? Um, and they ended up coming out of this pink box instead, right? And then they initiated onto you with without you guys knowing, right? So it doesn't. So when I say scout appropriately, it doesn't mean that you now have to go right and put yourself up here, or put yourself over here. No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is just look up, right? So, for example, Smooth, um, if you're going to be on Moira, right, do you think that you're going to get a whole lot of damage done here? Remember, remember what we were talking about? What are we saving our juice for? Uh, for the fight, actual brawl. Are we engaged? Okay. And now look at your juice. Where is it at? Under half. Are we brawling? Nope. Okay. Right. So, part of the reason that we're in this is because we got caught by surprise. Oh snap, they're here. Because why? We didn't scout appropriately. Right? So in the beginning, you know, smooth, you can this is how you can participate, right? Good job on your coal, right? You're you're already forty to coal. This is really good. But the way that you can help, the way that man's can help, right? Not so much you, MJ. I'm not talking to you. Um, you know, you keep doing what you're doing. But you, um, smooth, MJ, um, you know, everyone can help in a way, just by like, you know, if these are the, whoops, nope, um, unlucky, again, right, we didn't scout appropriately, I have no idea where Jaybird is, um, because of Widow, I don't know, anyways, 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 um, if these boxes all represent ways they're going to come out, our tanks, you know, our main tank can be looking at one, but ideally, right, we all kind of want to be shifting, um, looking at all of them, right? To make sure we're not going to get jumped. Um, and again, um, so that so that's two. So three, I'm going to back it up just a little bit um, because MJ can't be the one oh, doing this all the time. So right off the bat, you know, on on some of that cooldown usage, save these micros, right? You're about to need them. Don't don't just burn them off the bat, right? Use them to dissuade any main tanks from coming in onto your main tank. That's kind of how you want to use it. So if a main tank is approaching your main tank and you pop these micros, if it's a Rhine, the Rhine has to choose whether he's going to swing on your Rhine or block your micros. That's an uncomfortable situation to be in. Because if he swings on your Rhine, he just gets blown up with micros. If he blocks your, if he blocks your micros... Your run gets free swings, right? Um, your DPS get free pressure. So save your cooldowns. Um, so patience is number three. Patience. Okay. Wait for the brawl. And when the brawl happens, it's like an on and off switch, right? It's not any of this middle of the ground stuff. It's on and off. So wait for this cooldown stuff. Keep eyeing here, right? Quick reload. That's fine. But you want to keep your eye, like right. You you want to know where where uh, where things are. As Reaper, you can actually you are safe to be standing over here on this side, right? 
um, just so you know, right? Don't, don't don't feel like you're too limited in where you need to be. As long as you have Wraith up, you can grab a soft uh, counter angle to your team so that you can come back to them, okay? Don't rely on your teleport to get you out. So... Need to speed. They have Zen. They're going to play for Discord. Where's their run? Right, so right there. So the monkey is dropping on us. The echo came out on us. Burn monkey. Burn monkey, burn monkey. And... Again, relax with the spam. Right, we just want to spritz that. Spritz, spritz, spritz. Now they're forcing the point. So, the the way this works is that your Rhine doesn't necessarily want to be the one to rotate immediately. Okay? Your Rhine is about kind of setting up the fight. Right? It's about kind of like blocking support. Um, let me see if I can find an example real quick. On my thingy, my bobbers, uh, map markers, Gibraltar. Okay. Do 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 do. Dum dum. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So you guys are gonna be uh, red, right, and then defenders will be blue. So. If the defenders with mobility, right, the Echo, the Mercy, you saw what they were doing, right? They were hovering over point to try to touch it. If that happens, one of the reasons you don't want your Rhine to rotate too quickly and why it's, it's really strong to have your Diva just kind of walk to touch is because Diva doesn't need to be, remember, 10 meter radius, right? So the Diva that's standing here can easily rotate here and notice right that we keep we like we can keep 10 meters 10 meters 10 meters 10 meters 10 meters and then the same direction going straight up into the air 10 meters so with our diva standing here to contest the payload our Rhine can keep the strong positioning for everybody else so our Rhine can stand here, Orion can stand here, and now it's like this, right? And we have this safe zone behind us, so that we control all of this, right? We control all of this. If our Orion starts shifting too early in the fight, just for some squishies contesting the point, notice that all our team shifts, right? All our team shifts now into the wide open, right? Because it's only directly behind him that we're going to be safe. His presence, or his his absence, right? Him moving this way is gonna open the defenders. Now come take this. Now look, look what look what they can look at, right? Now they can grab more angles on you. Okay, so that's why you'll notice when we were doing our drills yesterday that when we had to shift from being here, right, to here, we shifted in here to this door because we l we're looking to limit the angles that they can have. So if our Ryan is standing here, shifts here, notice how tight we are. Notice that we're limiting the direction that they can attack us from. They have to come at us basically head on or really expose themselves, right, and come out this way. And all of this is LOS that can be had by our DPS and our D.Va, remember, because 10 meters, okay? So again, you know, if if it's just squishies on cart, or even a Winston, or even a Diva, our Diva, you know, Agar, you don't have to shoot your way to the point. You, you can bunny hop without shooting, and then get. You don't have to remember. You don't have to stand on the point, right? You want to kind of like keep it dynamic. You can stand right on top of it and be a big fat target, or you can stand literally like right here and still be within range of your Moira, still be within range of your Lucio amp. Right, and still be in range to contest cart. And if you're being contested, zigzag, 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 land with your Moira, start your walk back. Right. Um, same thing with the Rhine. So let's say the Rhine's like, okay, you know, the dive is moving, the way that the our enemy is coming out. Right, they're all trying to shift this way. Okay. You guys, if if they're brawl, you guys want to engage on them right here. 
right? You guys want to engage on them where it's tight, right? If you guys are brawl, you guys want to engage them in close spaces. Um, fight, like actually fight. Pick a target and then and then blow it up. And remember, MJ, for you, it's about you can still swing, right? But it's about setting your team up, right? It's about denying space for your team so that your May and your Reaper can both uh, focus targets together. So with that being said, that's why it's important, right? When just squishies come over here, that um, our diva knows that she that you know Agar you, you, or Super, you guys can come over here and contest. Um, and then same thing. If we need to rotate, like let's say we want to give this up, we can still rotate like this or like this very quickly in a fight, right? Let's say we really want to fight on point, right? Let's say it's like clear card, clear card. All six of us should be rotating now with our Ryan setting up the engage. So what that means is that depending on what they have, our Ryan is looking to barrel like a fucking fist or is looking to maybe block Farah spam or, or Hanzo spam so that the other five of us can come fight. And, our, and again, our Ryan is acting like this barrier, right, depending on what they have. So if they have a pharmacy, or if they have some kind of Hanzo spam, right, some kind of like really nice burst damage that's consistent, then we want to be looking to set up our team so that, so that them five can clear what's on cart. And the reason we're going to cart is so that we can hold this room, right? We have this mega, we can all speed up. Like, there's a lot of possibilities for us to do and, and, and play around here. Don't be afraid to get creative here. Okay, as long as you guys, you know, don't kind of do it all out in the open all the time, you guys could be fine, right? You guys got places to retreat. Um, that's not it. All right. <gasps> Fuck, am I recording properly? Yes, I am. No jump. Where we on? So right here. Notice how it was MJ, right? That just came to the cart. So again, Agar. Um, really be focused on what you're supposed to be doing, okay? All right? It's not your job to be, you know, consistently trying to do damage, right? You're kind of... Do you play basketball, Agar? Yeah. What position do you what play? Uh, power forward. Power forward? Okay, I actually don't know too much about basketball to know what power forward is. <laughs> but are you familiar... So I've been watching, like, The Last Dance. Um, you're familiar with Scottie Pippen, yeah? Yeah. You know how really how very attentive he was to it's like reading his opponent, threading the ball, intercepting passing lanes, also being able to shoot but also being able to play defensively. Scotty yeah. Pippen is an off tank. I'm so serious. Scotty Pippen is an off tank. He's reading where the enemy wants to go. He's re he's intercepting them before they do it. He's denying them their opportunities, right? He's not just solely fo he's not just solely focused on on shooting threes you know, looking for the layup, all right? He's doing so much more than that. So that's kind of the approach that you want to have with D.Va in general, but on this point specifically, right? You want to deny this point. You want to make sure that your Ryan can stay tight because you have more range than your Ryan, which is the benefit of having him close because if he hadn't walked away, he could be swinging all day on this monkey, and that monkey can't do jack shit about it. Um, okay. So, number four, right? Um, contesting. Contesting cart. So that was contesting cart, right? Um, our main tank is looking to set up fights depending on what they have, right? If it's, a, if it's something that he can swing on, fucking swing. If we have to be contesting the cart and all six of us have to go, then we go. And then depending on the comp, our Ryan is going to choose whether he's going to be barreling in or whether he's going to be shielding. Okay, so contesting cart. Um, same thing. Lucios can also do this. Um, Maze can also do this. But again, to go back over here, right? Notice, notice that you know. Let's say we have like one person on cart, and they have like four people coming in. If our May is here. All this is zone denial that we're not getting because we're trading our May, who can zone multiple people, right? Multiple people. She can wall to zone them off. She can fucking freeze to zone them off, right? She can do a lot of things. And she has the survivability. She can just cryro in their fucking faces. And now they can't commit to walk past her because she might pull some shit, right? 
um, if we trade one May for one person over here, that's kind of like a reduction in value. Okay. Um, so that's why Diva, even Moira, right? So smooth, again, you, right? If your team's looking chill, right, give them a quick spritz and don't be afraid to, to right click anything that's over here. Um, R2, anything that's over here. Same thing with our Reaper, you know, right? You can still stand here and do damage. Um, but again, we mainly want our, atten our attention all focused on the same thing. So the primary responsibility for contesting cart, it can either come down to our Diva or it can come down to our Lucio. But primarily, our Diva will be the one spending the most time on the cart for obvious reasons. We don't want our Lucio to risk dying. Um, and you guys can trade, right? Only one person needs to contest cart. You guys can swap back and forth. Um, that's just some team synergy stuff. I'm on my key. My key's um, Let me get my thing back. Okay. Right, so we should be brawling. So right, right here, you know when you want him to get his armor back? If you throw this orb... There. Okay. What was that behind? Where is this? Uh, uh, right. Barry is destroyed. Yeah. See, so we're not really brawling. We're kind of playing scared. Yeah, we're playing scared. We should literally. Okay. So we should be collapsing on them. It looks to me like MJ is the person close, most close to them. Right. So Dinky, like you're playing way too far back. Like you're all the way back here. I don't know where the fuck Jay went, right? So you should be literally married, like stuck on your Ryan's hip. Your Ryan should not be fighting this alone. He, he you guys are bra. Get in their faces, right? Don't play scared. Play with her. So part of the reason that we got in the situation in the first place is because they surprised us, right? So we're literally looking to speed amp onto them, right? Like, if it helps. Feed. Literally fucking feed. Play this like it's goats. That's how you're looking to spawn camp. Because remember, it's to buy time. And if you feed and you fucking play like it's ghosts, and you play with that confident, aggressive energy, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for confident, aggressive energy. You guys can hold this um, for longer than you think. So again, our tank is like way too isolated. They have low heals. So, with a Widow behind us, and with these people in front of us, we've talked about this before, right? Either we're going to rotate to this building, or we're going to put our squishies behind these blue boxes. That's what these blue boxes are there for. That's what these things are there for. That's why we're here. Because snipers that try to flank... And if we position ourselves properly, they can't shoot squishies, right? They can only shoot um, tanks. Or if they can shoot squishies, it's only for a limited time because we're going to be in and out of cover. So look for the brawl, right? Don't back up too much. This is the same thing I was telling you guys on third point defense to Brawlter. Don't back up, right? You guys are brawl, you know, like man the fuck up and, and, and get in there. What else? Um, Fine. Where is it? with these things in mind, right? You don't telegraph, you scout where they're coming from, you're patient with your cooldowns, and then you're smart about contesting carts so that you guys can stay together. But, like right here, MJ, if you're gonna be this low, dude, it's time for you to call it. Um, I'm pretty sure you were there, so you should know that you should be rotating over here. That's why we have a Mega in here. Okay? So this death, preventable. You're about to die. Preventable. Right, we just got a DMEC. We so yeah, we just got a DMEC. We traded for a May. We're still looking good. This fight is winnable. Stay here. Do not back up. Do not back up. Do not back up. Go here. Go inside. Okay. In this situation, don't back up. Right. Keep keep the mega. What's up, what's up, right. What's up? up here. But instead. Right, look, again, we're committing to this corner, we're racing out on full HP, right? Like, this is what I mean by uh, patience, right? Manage your cooldowns, be patient. Patient also means that if you can't hold something, don't try to hold it, okay? That, that's why we have, again, um, these rotations, right? That's why we have this space and, and this space. 
And notice how you almost made it, MJ. You stood right here. So it's kind of like that story of the of the of the guy who's stuck on an island. He like swims out a mile to a boat. He gets halfway. He gets too tired, and then he turns back. And in doing so, he swam a full mile. Right. So look. You could have made it. You went all the way here, and then all the way back. You could have made it. Mega. 300 HP, burst healed. Right? And you get cover, you guys get a chance to regroup, right? And they can't push the cart because if they try to push it, wham! Right? We slam them. Uh -huh. Keep that in mind. Yeah, right. You committed to holding here, and then... That's it. I'm on, I'm dead. This comp's kinda dumb, bro. Echo, no. we played it dumb. I killed both DPS. I'm going, I'm going yeah, back. what Just back up. Agar said. Yeah, get the we, you guys played it dumb. You guys, you guys are playing too passively. You guys are playing very, very scared and uncoordinated. But, so, the my biggest concerns here is that you guys played scared. And when I play, when I, when I mean scared is I mean unconfident. Right, you guys played without confidence. It's supposed to be a U and an N. You guys played unconfident. That's probably not even a word. Um, this is how you guys played. This was the mood. This is like, I picked it up immediately. Um, be confident in it. It's not comfortable, but it doesn't mean that you can't be confident. Okay? Um, number two, you guys didn't play it smartly. Right? We were sending people to on contest we didn't need to contest. We weren't grouping up on our Rhine. We weren't calling that we are we got a DMEC, right? Which is all information that our tanks can use to change their positioning. Um, and, uh, you know, we didn't properly contest the point, right? Our D.Va didn't touch properly. Our Lucio didn't touch properly. Our Rhine decided to double down and sort of, like, do a rotation towards the other side, right? Like, we could have played that better. Um... And then the third thing was the communication. Like, for engages. Remember, we're here to play goats, essentially. Okay? Um, that's kind of like what this is for. We're here to play very aggressively. Um, so, communicating what we're going to engage on. So, if we're TPing, or if we're turning around to be spamming some shit, like, that's, like, that's kind of an engage. And so, our Rhine is swapping from being man with hammer to being man with shield. Okay? Um, I didn't hear too much of that. Um, so, be more confident. Play it, uh, with more awareness. This is the first time you guys are doing it, so it's totally acceptable that you guys, you guys still knocked off a whole fucking minute. You know what I'm saying? Um, and communicate your engages, right? And do the rotations properly. But above all, above all, do the, uh, the attitude adjustment, right? We can't be... Okay, yeah, come in here, come pessimistic or really unconfident about it. Like, we really gotta stop with those attitudes. If it's not working, you know, this goes for everybody. If it's not working, think to like instead of complaining about it or expressing some kind of sentiment that shows that you're not confident in it, think to yourself, how can it work? What can I do to make this work? Because nine times out of ten, it's a playstyle change. Yeah, servers. Grab servers. Nice. Okay. Very nice. We're grabbing Good servers. Where's Widow? Where's Widow? Widow's Careful with that, Smooth. Birds. Careful uh, with that. Friend, you what do, do mean, not... You like know servers? they have a Widow. Yeah, servers. Grab servers. You okay. know where servers is. You don't have the to walk in a straight Here. line. Where's Widow? Where's Widow? Widow's on the box above... That was very uh, scary. Hey, your job is box. Yeah. Come back. I know. I need heals, though. No mines. I'll get some blue box. Now we go. We got it. Monkey, monkey, sending in a monkey. Monkey's pinned. So again. So. So now we're over here. And we guys grab servers. Uh huh. Um. 
Not a lot of not a not a whole lot of all tracking. When you guys fight here, it's very important that you guys all fight the same thing. What are we walling? What is this wall? It's crazy. What is this wall? I'm all the way. Right. I must have, I must have, I what did what did we just wall? Kill supports, kill supports, kill supports, kill supports. That's better. Mercy's one, Mercy's one. Oh him. You better mag. Do my card, do my card, do my card. Do my card. So that was good. That was good in that you guys managed to bring it back with an with ultimates, right? Very very good job. Look at this is what I'm talking about, smooth. This is excellent. Right? You throw the orb out because you can heal faster with this orb. And look at all this shit, dude. Look how much fucking healing you have. Right, so this is good. You're going to call essence anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but if you needed to, you had all that healing. Right. Good try on the pin. So again, um, J and MJ, you guys need to be more on sync. So J, if there's like a monkey in your background, I need you to be a little bit more cognizant of that. To my understanding, it's this shatter here that wins us this fight. Bam. Right there. Right. So, the target focus from our May, the wall fo Oh, Agar. Excellent. Excellent positioning. You went back up there. Really proud of you, dude. That's really good. That is really good. I just noticed you up there. 10 meters, dude. 10 fucking meters. Full damage. 100% power, dude. That's good shit. I love to see it. Okay. But again, so so Jay, it's it's less about how you can solo frag and more about how you can set things up for Dinky and for MJ. Okay, so really be mindful of these wall of these walls. Okay. Um, bang. No harm. Mercy's one. Mercy's one. Very good. Very good. And then again, the brawl's over. The brawl's over. Right. Start building it back up. So don't. I don't want to see you get below like this on a cleanup fight, right? You want to start getting your shit up. Give Max, lever, lever. Yep, lever. Good call. Lever, 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 lever. <sighs> so I don't know. So in scrims, okay. what we do okay. is that we stall for three seconds and then we keep going. It's like things are changing. Wall bomb. Do they have transits? Wall bomb. bomb from done up here. I'm gonna drop it down. Hmm. We'll see about that. They're on run now? Okay, they're on run. This is very, very good. So, Dinky. Same thing. So, as Reaper, you can start here. You can also start up top. Um, just, just some things for you to know. Your positioning is good here. But I do want you to be a part of scouting. I want you to be a part of looking. And because you have mobility, you can join Agar up here. Like, imagine if you and Agar are both up here. The fuck is anyone going to do to you guys? Not a goddamn thing. Anyone that tries to come fuck with you and Agar up here is getting this shit wrecked. You got a D.Va with 600 HP and, and you got a fucking full-blown Reaper. And both of you, right, both of you can fly back. You, Wraith, she boosts, right? Um... So just something for you to think about, yeah. and you they, can. They but this positioning have, is good they too. Have, they, have, they have nothing for. This is little. Okay, little easy, Agar. Remember what I was saying? Was on. Whoa! Remember what I was saying? I said this would happen. I said this would happen. That you have to be really careful being up here. So I don't know what you were looking at, but you tunnel visioned. This is a big misplay. You good job being up here, but I said it would happen, right? We have a tendency when our divas are in high ground that they get demacked. Because remember what MJ did way back at the beginning. We're trying to hold something that we can't hold. We always have to be asking ourselves, am I safe here? Can I really hold this corner? Can I really hold this spot? Yeah. So this, that was completely okay. avoidable. Right, that was on you. You had DM. I don't know what you were doing. You were sleeping, bro. So now we're looking. Now we're looking for an engage. Like that's, it's that simple. We're looking to brawl. And Agar, even if you're baby diva, you're not out of the fight. So you protect yourself. You can be killed right now by an echo. So I really hope that you don't die here. I got dived on by four people here. Up here? Uh, no, down there. Yeah, so again, 
if if that's the case, you need, you need to be thinking to yourself, how do I get back to my team? How do I hide over here? Right? And if they commit people into chasing you, then then you guys blow up what's on cart and then go back for what killed the guard. Uh -huh. But we can't we can't be doing this. So you have this tendency that when you're out of baby mech, you're like, oh, I'm I'm out of the fight. I might as well be dead. No, that's so far from the case. You're looking to sur come back here and survive with your group because now your Ryan, May, and Lucio and Reaper are gonna take turns touching this cart. And you can get mech back very quickly. So, you shouldn't be over there. So we're brawling Ryan, we throw the orb, too early. So, as much as that's a good call, you can't call the brawl. You can't call the engage. Right? That's, that's that main tank effect. Right? You can't really call the engage. If the main tank doesn't decide to engage, you can yodel for the engage and nothing will fucking happen okay so really so you can have it in your hand right like you know how you put out um, damage orb and health orb as Moira in your hands you can have it out but wait for MJ to fucking get in there or or for your DPS and, and, and shit like that to get in there this was too early Hello. Okay. Okay, you, pretty far so again Agar Get out. Walk this way. Walk over there. That's it. That's all you have to do. Just get out. For free. You have to go. We don't have to go. No, we don't. We don't have to go. Why do we have to go? He was on you. Okay. Too far. Can we roll this way? Just spamming for free. You have to go. We're fine. Patience. 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 Scouting. Right. MJ's doing a good job of contesting cart. Yeah, you guys kinda need to get out of it. Patience. What is this wall? Patience. What? Just so I can live. Yeah. Well, get... What is this beat? Why did we just beat? I'm on Ryan. 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 I'm on Mercy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You okay? You guys are rushing yourselves. So man's relax, right? Um, MJ's got the cart. You guys are fine. Relax. So right here, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. You guys are still fine. Um, um, smooth. If you hear them getting this nervous, let them know you got full resources. We're good. We're good. I got full resources or some kind of shit. If that's what if, if that's what they need. Okay, but other than that, you guys are fine. There was no need to throw orb here. You have to go. There's no need to say that we have to go. MJ's doing his job. We're good. We are in a great position, and you guys are treating it like we're not. We might be down a gar. Zmech. But we're not down a gar. And we're also up in the ultimate fight. And up in the positioning fight. So, even though we lost mech, we actually have the advantage! Because we have ults, cooldowns, positioning. We have the advantage. We still have the advantage. Patience. Okay. Yeah, you get tiny to get Huge. Patience. That's that's a fight defining wall right there. That buys time for everybody. That blocks the bomb. That is a bunch of things. Out of this, so I can live. Yeah. 
You have plenty of time to come back. Or go hide. Call that a guard. Again, there's that there's that clear your comms. So let me let me listen to your guards, your comms. Okay. So you didn't scout. You're staying you're standing out in the middle of the open instead of trying to get back to your team. Yeah, you guys kind of need to get out of there so I can live. You guys need to get out of there so I can live. That's not a that's not a call that we need to be making. That's not something that we need to do. Because it's on you to get out, right? So that's not a good call. Yeah, you guys need to walk out of there. Right there. You're not calling that Diva just dove you, that Echo just dove you. That's way more important because Diva just committed her boosters to get to you. You know what that means? We speed on to Diva. That's what that means. Diva no boosters in the back. Diva no boosters in the back. Diva no boosters. Turn around. Turn around. Diva no boosters on forklift. And then MJ can be the shield man, and then our May, Lucio, Moira, Reaper can all fucking rush this diva. This diva is dead. Frozen. Dead. And then we're even again. In numbers. And then you keep talking like that little chit chat. What do you think? Blah, 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 blah. Right, that is not what we need to be doing in the middle of the fight. Hush. Um, good frags, Dinky. And all this craziness. You guys didn't catch the bomb. Both the DPS die. We didn't need that beat at all. Don't don't feel pressured for your beat. Really, really don't. And uh, this was a fire strike. You don't stop fire striking when you're low. It's just not worth it. You're not gonna get value. I'm a card for a bit. I lost when I'm back. If we yeah, you guys, you guys lost that just... on your own. You guys lost that through your own mistakes. We can take a second fight. Just take an early fight here. Um. But we'll be, I'll be back. They have Karina. Oh, I got that spawn. Should I'll I swap be there in a second. I'll be there in a second. Why? What do you mean why? There's so much high ground. And they have Zen. Right, yeah. Again, we're brawl. So what are we looking to do here? Okay, open up. With, open up. With, yeah, open up. Ryan's with, alone. With, I'm looking yeah. for Shatter. No, we just get up in there. Where in, where in, where in, where in? Go, 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 go. I'm running, 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 Okay, open up, with, open up, with, yeah, open up. With, Ryan's uh, alone. Cool. I'm looking yeah. for Shatter. That's it. I'm looking for Shatter. So if you're gonna throw the Bombagar, throw it closer to the, to the Ryan. Like behind him. No, we just this bomb, I don't know where it went. Cause it, it landed like way over here. It didn't kill anything, right? But the shatter landed. Do we really need coal? Okay, fine. We shatter bombed in coal. Do we need Reaper ult? Boss timing help. Trying to come. Putting Diva. Give us out of Mac. Lever, lever, lever. Okay, fine. We burned four ults and won the fight. That's fine. So oh, now what I'm there, looking for us to do, okay, and then we we're gonna do this last bomb. part, and then uh, and then we're oh, done here. Take top right high ground. Take it. Take it right. No, yeah, play, this yeah. is the one you open never take. One of these chokes for wall blizzards. This is the one you yeah, never yeah. take. They're okay. On top left. They're all up here. They're all up here. Exactly. This is the one you never take. Oh, Ryan, Ryan and Diva bottom left. Ryan, Ryan's been healed. Okay, we we choke all them. Choke all them. Okay. DPS on left side. I'm I'm shattered. I'm shattered. This is fine. This is fine. We're fine. I'm on heels. Back up, back up, Benjay. I'm gonna get top mm. left, top left, on card, on card. Echo, 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 echo. echo. Both are deep. We can't ignore damage. The reason I that you guys um want to hold up here and make sure you guys have top left is for that reason. They can get all the way behind you. If they come up here, you know they can't all get behind you. 
So you guys are gonna have to figure this one out. Mac. The res? Can... Res the Ryan, the res the Ryan, res the Ryan. Let's go Diva, let's go Diva, let's go Diva. Like, you guys can really just control this side and top right, but you have to be really careful of not controlling this at all. If you guys just don't control this at all, then you guys are gonna have a very hard time. You guys could go for a split, you know, uh, three, three thing. Um, at the same time, you know, this payload should start moving back. So be really careful about this. This could be a really big weakness. Can we get the Zyma? No, no, no. Right here, out, he's right, out, here he's right here. They have no support. Relax, move. Again, same thing. Relax. Don't fight that, don't fight that, don't fight that. No charge. No, DPS oh, drop, play for Blizzard here. Another bad don't wall. May, come on, man. So I'm waiting, it. Jay, I'm waiting for one good wall. Bit him in, bit him in, bit him in. You have to relax. Top left, top left. This Ryan is walking past a choke, and you're choosing uh, not to wall him. And you're going for these super difficult walls where people just can't follow up. You know? They're, if he's trying to bait your wall and he's scared of committing, let him be that way. Let him be scared of committing because then he'll never walk in front of it. Like, then you, you'll you never, one, you never burn your wall, and two, he never crosses the choke. Don't burn your wall, right? Burn your wall if it's guaranteed, right? They're not there anymore. Look, 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 Diva's still there. Oh, it's just Diva, it's just Diva, it's just Diva. Diva, look up past that. Bait him in, bait him in, bait him in. Top left, top left, though. No, 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 they're not there anymore. Look, 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 Diva's still there. Oh, it's just Diva, it's just Diva. Diva, it's just Don't go past that. Bait him in, bait him in, bait him in. Top left, top left, though. No, 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 they're not, not there anymore. Look, 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 Diva's still there. Oh, it's just Diva, it's just Diva, it's just Diva. We can blizzard this right now, blizzard it right now. On the right side, on the right, on the right, on the right, on the right. Send a grind. Unlucky, we win next fight. Yep. Blizzard this right now, blizzard it right now. On the right side, on the right, on the right, on the right. Don't fight that, don't fight that, don't fight that. You guys, you guys, you guys oh, panic. Here. Like you guys panic Don't go really back. hard. Okay, relax. Be more patient. Okay, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. You guys have control of the choke. Get the high ground. Take it away from them. Use it to your advantage. Okay. Don't just like, you know. Um. Pass that. Don't go past that. No one like Agar's up here by himself. No one's up here. No one's up here, right? We're, we have like no scouting information. Agar, what do you see? Where are they? If you're gonna go up there, where are they? Bitumen, bitumen, bitumen. What? Stop what do you top see? Top where is the Echo? Where is everybody? There's no way that Echo can just like come right all around over here and then somehow Mans dies. That's like that's mind blowing to me. Okay, like we can't make mistakes like no, that. No, 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 they're not there anymore. Look, 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 look. Right there. You saw her, dude. Get out. Don't. Why are you? Oh, just diva, just why are you even diva, going diva, in there? Diva, I, diva, I don't diva, even know. Right like, and then again, blizzard this right now. Blizzard it right now. On the right side. Right, 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 right. Late. Okay. Top left. Top left. Though. No, 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 they're not there anymore. Look, 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 Diva's still there. Oh, it's just Diva, it's just Diva, it's just Diva. We can blizzard this right now. Don't fight that, don't fight that, don't fight that. No charge. No defend. DPS oh, drop, play for blizzard here. Questionable healing orbs move. Don't Again, go that. Don't you guys go have to be that. patient. You guys just blow bit your bit cooldowns because you guys are so tense, bit bit waiting for something to happen. Left, left, left. That when something does happen, you've already burned the uh, things that you needed. Left, 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 left. left, 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 left. That's not an important call. Relax. Right, you're saying that as if a nanoed reaper is coming into you. Diva on the left is more than enough. Diva's okay. Again, patience. Scouting appropriately. So we're doing contesting cart, but we're not being patient and we're not scouting appropriately. 
Listen to this s move, you there? Don't go past that, don't go past Huh? Wait, was that- I'm here, I'm here. Listen, listen to this con that you make. Don't fight that, don't fight that, don't fight that. No charge. No defend. DPS drop, fight for Blizzard here. Don't go past that, don't go past that. Bait him in, bait him in, bait him in. Top left, top left, though. No, 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 they're not there anymore. Left, 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 Divas to the left. Did you hear that? Left, 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 Divas to the left. Like, right, like, relax. That's not an important call out. Right, like, we're fine. Like, our comms. I don't know. That upsets me. What can I do? We can blitz this right now. Blitz it right now. And again, passive. Very passive. So all these cooldowns that we're using, all this spam that we're taking, and we're not even in a fight. We're not even in a fight. Look at this. We're not even in a fight. What is this fade? Why do we fade? Right? So... The whole point of of holding um, this area of the map, guys, is so that you can control them. Instead, they're controlling you. So you guys are positioned in a way that you guys can drop on them, not just hang out in front of one door and then forget about the other three doors. That's not this positioning. Okay? That's why it's vital that you guys come to VODs. Because it's very clear to me that people weren't paying attention during the VOD or they just weren't there. Okay? So, when we hold these doors, it's because we're looking to gain positioning in such a way that if they try to, if they try to come to cart, they get fucked. Like, we brawl on them, right? Um, with, good, with, our, with our good positioning. If we notice that a diva's over here and an echo's over there, and these people are just four... Guess what we're going to do? Punch. Like, punch through. Okay? If the diva's over here, then go this way. Speed the diva out. Make her, make, force her boosters. Like, pretend to go over there, force her boosters, and then come back. Right? If the diva, again, if the diva is isolated, right, we can send our, di our diva reaper um, over there. Um... On top of which, if we start on the high ground, it's a lot easier to contest high grounds when you're already on the high ground. Because, for example, that Echo never would have gotten a flank on our, on, on our, on our Lucio. Right? I don't think Mans did anything wrong. I just think it was unlucky. But Echo never would have gotten these flanks. So you're letting all these flanks, you're letting them poke you out. And we're looking to engage with a capital E. That's what we're looking to do. So if you guys are in a position where they're surrounding you and they're poking you out, you guys either need to know, know what you're shielding, MJ. Like, what, what are we shielding? Should I be shielding this Ryan? Is that really what I'm worried about? You know what I mean? Is that, is that what I should be shielding? Or should I position myself in a way where I can, heal, where I can shield the spam and if I'm worried about a shatter or something? Right? So... All this spam is coming in, right? So maybe instead of holding right on this door, because then we can't block any spam, then maybe I need to hold like this. And then let them come in a little bit. Because if I let them come in a little bit, then guess what we get? A wall. Right? So, again, it's that concept of we're looking to hold corners that we just can't hold for that long. You guys are, you guys are, are, are dying on this one door, and you guys are being spammed out, your health is slowly decreasing, cooldowns are being burnt, and we're getting zero value. Aside from, you know, maybe time bank. Okay? So, if you guys are going to do the brawl thing here, remember these things. Scout appropriately, have patience, contest the cart properly, and, um, what do I want to word the fifth one? Um, mind your positioning. Let's do that one. Mind your positioning. Everyone did it today. Our May, except Smooth. I think Smooth's positioning is usually pretty good, except for that last fade, which was, it was a panic fade, but it's fine. 
Mind your positioning. So, right, that was. Let's see. So, mind your positioning. So, you know, the first example that we saw of it, right, was MJ instead of Diva going to contest the cart. MJ, you know, committing to holding this corner when he can't, right? Resources are done. Right, we gotta go. Right, side, right, side, right. right, we go halfway and then we come back. Right, mind your positioning. It's, you know, we saw it with a guard, right? When he's holding the high ground, but he's not being mindful of his positioning. He's not being mindful of where the enemies are. And then here it comes, here it comes. Bang. There it is. There that is. What are we DMing? Right? Where did we DM? Right, so. What were we looking at, right? Where, where were we looking? What was coming up? Like, there's no way a widow gets a free shot on a diva, because like if you're looking down here, um, if you're looking at a tank, you're up here because one, you want the positioning, two, you want the scouting, right? So be mindful of your positioning. Um, man's right, exhibiting a little bit of impatience, like we gotta go, beating early, right? A guard, not trying to get to safety and walk back to your team through these tunnels over here or hallways over here right um j patience right throwing these really lanky wall wanky whatever the word is walls that are getting zero value i haven't seen a good wall yet okay um you know and then over here right um again right patience right Burning four ultimates, okay? Uh, we do a good job of like contesting cart, right? That's the bare minimum responsibility of resources, of responsibility. This is the positioning we want to have almost all the time. Right? If, we, if we're here, we're pretty good. Another place that we can be is over here, right? Because now we can actually engage off of walls. You guys are like not letting them giving them space to engage so you guys can get right, walls, right. you wall poorly, okay, and then chokehold them. Choke them. We already are. We already are chokeholding them. That's why we're up here, right? This is still chokeholding up here, just so you can add that to your... So now he has no shatter. So we know we don't need to be shielding this guy. He doesn't have shatter. You know what we need to be shielding? That. That's what we need to be shielding. Left, top left, on card, on card, mercy, 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 Echo, 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 echo. Both are deep. We can't ignore damage. We can't ignore damage, but let's just stay on cart. We killed the Rhine, and we demect the Diva, but let's just stay on cart. Let's not speed up the stairwell and get across and go to the high ground. Let's just stay here. Right. Be mindful of your positioning. Right. Um. I got Rhine and Diva's on mech. Let's go find. Uh, okay, let's lose this fight. Uh, let's, let's let's get one more good fight in. I go right in the back. I go right in the back. Reaper, 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 Reaper in the back. I go Reaper in the back. I got stopped out of shatter. No race, no race. That looks like a good bomb. I'm not need to blow. Look at that mercy. Look at that mercy. Diva's mercy, 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 on the back line. Diva's on the back line. Blocking him in. Very nice. Very nice. Again, another bad wall. You gotta be more patient with these walls, Jay. I'm dead. That's fine. I got emptied. Kill the, kill the diva behind us! Kill the diva behind us! Turn around, kill the diva! Turn around, kill the diva! Yeah, yeah, they diva res the diva in the middle of us. Go. Um, be more mindful, smooth, about this mercy. This mercy should never have lived. She literally is in your backline, guys. This is this is baffling. I'm ninety to blossom. That's actually crazy. That yeah, that's nowhere near as important. And then she flies into the back line again to go for the res. Get the mercy. I'm dead. And then same thing with you, MJ. Like I don't know. You gotta. Get, it's okay. You guys did fine. Um. So let's stop it there. Uh. Don't telegraph. Scott appropriately. Be patient. Uh, and contest the cart. You guys, you get, the best thing that you guys kind of did was contest the cart. Everything else is kind of weak. Um, don't telegraph. This really applies just to the. Um, 
This really just applies to uh, the spawn camp in the in the in the beginning. Scout appropriately applies to all points. Patience applies to all points, all fights, you know, all our defenses, and minding your positioning. Right? Do we need to rotate? You know, um, can we get better positioning? You know, stuff like that. Can we get better positioning? Um, you know, can I live here? Uh, what should I deny? Right? So, what should I deny? You know, that's why you're up there on that box agar. But, can I live here? Right? What's coming? You know, what's looking at me? Right? So we're on that blue box on uh, first point of guard, right? Because we're asking ourselves, what should I deny? But then, what's coming? And if I know what's coming, can I live here? And if I can't live here, can I go somewhere better? Where can I rotate? Right? And that's that's kind of how we want to be thinking um, about that sort of thing and applying that. Um, and then internalize it, and then we get better. All right, dudes, that's it. Um, bum, 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 bum.